My friend Marcel is a talented aquarist living in Madison, Wisconsin, and is a member of our local clubs, the Madison Area Aquatic Hobbyists and the Madison Aquatic Gardeners Club. As you can see by this spectacular 180 gallon display tank, Marcel's interests include plants and rainbow fish. Marcel uses a layered substrate system in his planted tanks. The bottom one inch layer is a mix of 10 parts clean topsoil, not potting soil, one part gravel to prevent compaction of the soil, one part calcium clay to help with nutrient uptake, and one part peat to keep the soil acidified which also helps plants absorb nutrients. Over that is a one inch cap of red flint gravel. That prevents the soil from getting up into the water column and causing an algae bloom. This nano aquarium contains seven gallons of water and is home to shrimp and snails. It sits in a window and gets no other light Neither is it filtered nor heated. Here is a clip of Marcel's 72 gallon bow front planted display tank. It is another example of the effectiveness of layered substrates. Marcel's aquariums are not particularly high-tech. He does not use CO2, he uses canister filtration, and his lights are standard fluorescent lights, but wide spectrum and several of them. The secret to his success, this lush growth, has to do with the incredible amount of available nutrients provided by the topsoil in the layered substrate system. Marcel also maintains a small basement fish room that contains 10 to 20 gallon aquariums on one large rack. Marcel's main breeding interest is rainbow fish and he has amassed quite the collection of rare and unusual species. All of Marcel's breeding tanks also contain live plants and the plants in them are growing just as well as they are in the display tanks upstairs. Those flower pots that contain the plants here have the same layered substrate system that the display tanks do. But in this case, Marcel can take them out of the aquarium whenever he needs to catch fish and not worry about disturbing the substrate, releasing the soil into the water column, and causing a huge mess. Another advantage of using so many plants is that they act as natural filters for the water, and Marcel can get by with small sponge filters in each tank, even though these tanks are packed with many, many fish. He's a very successful rainbow fish breeder. The lighting on these planted tanks is also low tech. Those shop lights on top hold two T8 bulbs of 6500K that he buys at a bulk outlet store for only about $250 a piece. There's no need to spend $25 on a bulb to get the kind of light you need to grow plants like this. Marcel proves that the hobby can be fun even on a smaller scale. I look at a setup like this and think maybe I should cut back a little.